the kingdom of God. The kingdom of Jesus Christ is not of this world. And you know all there is to know about this world. The kingdom of God and the will of God will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. The time is coming. The time is coming. When the heaven shall shake and the earth will move off its axis because of the evil, the evil of humanity. Forget about global warming. It's not global warming that will destroy this earth or bring all manner of disasters in this, on this earth. It's not global warming. It's our sin against God. It's our rebellion against the living God. We, through our sinful nature, have defiled this earth. We and our sinful nature has defiled this earth and everything in it. For those of you who have not been cleansed in the blood of Jesus Christ and you have not accepted him as your saviour, the curse of God Almighty is upon you. Why would you die in your sin? The kingdom of God is here and now. The kingdom of God is not when you die. It's not when you die. It is here and now. Believe in the good news. Believe in Jesus Christ. Repent and be saved. Listen, my friends. God is calling you to repentance. Listen, my friends. God is calling you to repentance. To turn, to cross over from death to life. To cross over from darkness to light. For the word of God says, Woe unto those who call evil good and, and good evil. Woe unto those who put light for darkness and darkness for light. Woe unto you who turn things upside down to suit yourselves. Listen. Listen, my friends. Listen. The time will come. They shall come up to Jerusalem and worship Yeshua, the Almighty God. The question is this. Do not begin to say to yourself, well, I don't believe in God because I can't see him. Or I don't believe in God. Where is the proof? Where is the evidence? The knowledge of God is in you. It's in your heart. It's in your conscience. But the problem is this. That we are living in a, in a, we are being defiant. We are in the state of rebellion. We defy the living God Almighty. And do you think that you will get away with it in breaking his laws? You break his commandments and say, I am good. I'm not a wicked, I'm not an evil person. You break his commandments and say, it's okay. But it's not okay. For God has says he will not be mocked. God will not be mocked. For what a man sows, so shall he reap. The days are coming, my friend, that from one new moon unto another, and from one Sabbath day, one Shabbat unto another, shall all flesh go to Jerusalem and worship him. Worship Jesus Christ, the almighty God. That's who God is. God has come in human form in the person of Jesus Christ. This is your God. This is your God. So the question is this. Why will you die in your sin? Why will you die in your sin? Repent. 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 Turn from the love of this world and turn to the love of God. This is repentance. Death to self, death to ego, that you might live in God. Cross over, cross over from death to life, cross over from darkness to light, cross over from the powers of Satan to the power of Almighty God. Let Yeshua, let, let Yeshua, let him save you. Let Jesus Christ save you from eternal damnation. 
Do not let Yeshua HaMashiach say to you, I'm not dead. Depart from me, you cursed into everlasting fire. Do not let him say that to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My friend, what do you say about Jesus Christ? My friend, when you don't live with God, don't you want to know God? Uh, I think I know enough, thank you. Sir, would you talk to us? Sir, do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do you got a ministry? Yes. Ministry? Prophetic is the ministry ordained by God. Oh yeah, I know. And he sends me around the world country you come from. Sure, Leo. I am being to there, yeah, but I've been to the east side of Africa. Uh, not just the countries, but in the cities, not just in the cities, but in the villages where people do not go. Yeah, yeah, Down, been there. Been there and, and preached to the people in their poverty, in their homes, in their villages. Uh, over, just, over the other side, down south, to Zimbabwe. Are you, are you saved? I'm saved, of course. You saved? Yeah. Sometimes we just do the work we are here for. But it's not an offense, really. Good. Because we have sat certain times, people do the same thing like you did. Yeah. And then we call Westminster. At the end of the day, they say the man doesn't do no wrong. He doesn't do for then. no one. He's just passing something. He does well, that's what we're no doing. One. Yeah. Right? We're sowing the seed of God, the word of Jesus Christ. Right? At the moment, what we see here, people are indifferent. They I don't know. seem to care. Right? They're in defiance against God. I know. Right? So I'm the only to... time when I'm afraid, when I'm doing my job, when you're facing them, mm. talking to them, I'm afraid. That's why? Why, call... why are you afraid? Yeah, because the, the Bible said the carnal doesn't understand the spiritual things. Mm -hmm. That is and true. If you, the spiritual man, attack them when they are in alcoholic, that's why I'm afraid. Not oh, for you. Oh, right. <laughs> Sir, are you a believer in Jesus Christ? Why? Well, who is your God? I don't believe in the original sin. What do you call original sin? Well, that we have to repent for our sins, right? Well, do you know what repentance means? Well, we can, we can go about semantics for all day. I've got to no, go but it's an opinion. Um, since we live in this country, we can have that time to yeah, express yeah, what yeah, we feel, yeah. yeah? I've got work now. But if you die in your sin, right? Because you're not in control of your life, right? You don't know, not know the numbers of your days. So if you die in your sin, what happens to you? What happens to you? So, salvation, judgment day, judgment day. Listen, my friends, what on earth are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Salvation, the gift of God Almighty, is here and now. Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lamb of God, was sacrificed for you. For the forgiveness of your sins, that you might have reconciliation with your God. At this moment in time, my friends, let there be no doubt, because you have broken God's commandments, and you have ignored Him, you are under His wrath. You are under the wrath of God Almighty. Do not die in your sin. Put your trust in Jesus Christ and receive life here and now. Let your almighty God come from heaven and dwell in your heart. Come and be reconciled with your maker. For why would you die in your sin? Come and inherit the gift of eternal life with him. With him. Let him be your father and let him honor you with sonship in his kingdom.